what's up and welcome back to my channel and on today's video we are talking youtube versus facebook now more specifically i'm going to be sharing the top four reasons why i decided to kind of make the move and shift kind of away from facebook in regards to my weekly content and move more over to focus on youtube so stick around if you want to know why Hey, hey, in case you are totally new to me and my channel, what's up? My name is Sherry Brown and I help busy work at home moms to rediscover their voice, build a solid foundation for their business and show their kids what's possible. And on this channel, I do everything from product reviews and tutorials, as well as actual social media and marketing strategies you can implement to go further faster when building your business online. So again, if you're new here, this kind of seems like it's your jam, then consider subscribing. Just make sure that you hit the bell so you get notified as I upload new videos each and every week. All right, all right. Now, before I jump into the top four reasons why I kind of shifted my content to be more Facebook focused to over, you know, on YouTube, uh, before I kind of dive into that, I do want to kind of share a couple of thoughts. Now, number one, first and foremost, I think that, you know, no matter what social media platform that you're on, I do think if you get really focused on one when it comes to your business that you can create a profitable online business. The first six figures I ever made was when I was focused solely on Facebook and that's where I was really putting, you know, most of my content. That's where I was really focusing on like building my audience. And so again, I think you can really create success no matter what social media platform you do decide to really focus on. Now, the next thing I want to kind of share is even though, yes, when it comes to my content, my weekly training videos, Although, yes, I am, you know, more focused on growing, you know, growing my YouTube channel, I will say I'm still very active on Facebook. I keep up with Facebook. I keep up with those changes. You know, I've got a, you know, YouTube playlist that's all about, you know, Facebook how to's and Facebook marketing. So I still am very active on Facebook. You know, I've just kind of stopped promoting so much like when it comes to my profile, I've kind of shifted, you know, focus more on the business page. I've been running Facebook ads for a couple of years now. And again, I'm very focused when it comes to Facebook groups. OK, so when I'm talking about these top four reasons, I used to do all of my weekly videos as Facebook lives doing Facebook lives. I would then edit those and put them up on YouTube, but they weren't really optimized for YouTube. OK. And it was the end of 2018, later on in 2018, that I decided, you know what, like I'm just going to focus more on YouTube. So with that being said, we are going to go ahead and hop into the top four reasons why I decided to switch. So the very first reason that I want to talk about of why I decided to kind of switch and focus more on YouTube versus Facebook in regards to my content is just longevity and more exposure when it comes to my content in general, okay? So on Facebook, when you do any type of like video, whether it be a live or a pre-recorded, now over on Facebook, obviously lives are going to get you a little bit more exposure and a little bit more like oomph when it comes to the newsfeed. But, you know, regardless of that, your content is pretty much dead after like 24 to 48 hours, unless you are putting something up on a Facebook business page, um, you know, and you're running ads to it, it's pretty much like that video is not going to continue to get exposure much past like the 48 hour mark. Okay. Now on YouTube, on the other hand, totally different ball game. Okay. If you really learn how to kind of like optimize your videos can get views for years to come. So if we look over on YouTube and I kind of scroll down right here, and let's say, you know, I look at my most viewed video on Facebook which, or on, my, on YouTube, sorry, uh, which is this one. You know, I'm, I'm talking about just attraction marketing and tips on how to crush it on Facebook. Now, if I go to that particular video, I know, look at this, first of all, I probably should have paused it on a different, uh, where I had a different facial expression. And, and Lord, let me just say, where were my friends at when I was rocking that makeup look? But uh, if you scroll down on this video, it has over 27,000 views. This video was published originally on my channel August 2nd of 2017. Now, I could totally kick myself when I uploaded this video in regards to the fact that it's not optimized for YouTube. So I wasn't telling people like, hey, subscribe to my channel or anything like that. 
Uh, so I could have kicked myself for that. But regardless, you know, this video which is over a year and a half later coming up on the two year mark and it's still very very relevant the the tips that i give in this are i feel like they're timeless so they're still very relevant today which i think also makes this a really good video but it's right now still getting 1.7 views per hour okay so 1.7 views per hour now if i go over to the actual analytics and i scroll up you can see just in the past 28 days this video over a year and a half later is still getting over 1800 views a month okay and it's still very much growing my audience base so in the past 28 days this video alone has added you know 88 new subscribers to my youtube channel now on facebook that would never happen again unless i had money and i was running ads behind it now, what's also cool when it comes to this video and YouTube in general, and I will say, obviously, I'm not at the point where all of my videos are doing this well. Again, I just really started focusing more on YouTube at the end of 2018, so maybe like five months is, is when I really started learning uh, more about YouTube in general. But with this particular video, what's cool, and when I say more exposure, YouTube can really give you a lot of exposure um, on the platform itself. And so if I kind of scroll down, you know, 40% of these views is suggested videos, meaning, you know, YouTube is suggesting this video to other people. You know, when people are on the YouTube platform, they're watching videos and you see at the end, like suggested videos come up, you know, when it comes to the top traffic sources, again, you know, YouTube is really suggesting this content and pushing this video out, which is allowing me to get a lot of exposure. That has never happened to me on Facebook, okay? Okay, so again, this is reason number one, longevity when it comes to your content and the fact that you can get views years to come and also just more exposure on your content in general from the platform. Now, the second reason I made the switch is for the sheer fact that YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world only behind Google, which Google actually owns YouTube. And the truth is Facebook is not a search engine, okay? So that was really the second reason why I decided to shift my focus more to YouTube when it comes to my content. And, you know, ask yourself, I just want you to kind of ask yourself this, when it comes to something that you want to know how to do, where are you most likely to look? Are you, if you want to know how to do a smoky eye look, or you want to know like how to put on fake lashes, which I do have fake lashes on right now, by the way, or you want to know, you know, how to do something particular on YouTube or how to do something particular, you know, on Facebook, whatever the case may be, where are you most likely to go looking for the answer to that? Now, let me know in the comments below, but I don't know about you, but for me, it's hands down, I'm gonna go to YouTube. That's really the first place I go to look when it comes to something I wanna learn how to do. That's how I learned how to use the editing software that I use and how to, you know, put my camera settings that I got, like, you know, what camera settings to use. You know, I go to YouTube, that's one of the, again, the, one of the first places that I look. And so I know if, I'm that way, then, you know, my audience, the people that I'm looking to attract, they're going to be, you know, the same. Now, if we go back to this most viewed video and I am just going to go into um, the analytics, I'm just going to switch over to the um, Creator Studio. All right, I am going to scroll down. And you can see just right here when it comes to traffic sources and let's just say let's just say the lifetime of this particular video um, so if we kind of scroll down YouTube search makes up 27% of the views that this video has gotten you know since I put it out okay so basically what that means is the way that I have this particular video optimized, like, you know, people are searching for, you know, this particular video. And because of that, you know, again, I can get a lot more exposure when it comes to my content. 
and um, you know, which in turn can help build my audience and allow me to be able to impact and help more people overall. And again, when it comes to Facebook, you know, yeah, there's a few ways to kind of optimize your video, but it's not a search engine. And so, you know, hands down, this video would not have, have performed near as well, or any of my videos really, for that fact, would have performed near as well on Facebook versus YouTube. Now, the third reason is the ability to really optimize your videos and, you know, by using tags and descriptions and keywords and things like that. So again, if we look back, I'm on my channel and, you know, I have really, now this video, I will say, uh, because I wasn't really focused on YouTube. I didn't know a whole lot about YouTube at the time when I, when I actually recorded this video. And so, you know, I didn't actually optimize this video until it had probably over 15,000 views. And that was really when the light bulb went off and was like, Sherry, you know, you are really shooting yourself in the foot by, by not optimizing this particular video. And so what I mean by, you know, optimizing using keywords and tags is I use now these analytics right here is I use TubeBuddy, okay? And I, everything that I talk about, I'll kind of put in the description below for you to check out. But, you know, I think I pay like uh, $9 a month to use TubeBuddy. But what happens is it allows me to have like different analytics. And so if you look at this video, the search engine optimization of it, and I click um, load right here. So this video right now, I am actually getting ranked for these particular tags. And so if somebody is looking for attraction marketing, you know, right now it's saying I'm ranking number one for the term for the uh, keyword attraction marketing, attraction marketing Facebook number one. And so you can see right here what I'm ranking for these particular keywords. And if I scroll up here and I'm looking at the search engine and let's just say I type in attraction marketing, I can see right here that this search term gets 3,600 searches a month for this keyword alone. And you can see that I am ranking number one for it. So again, on YouTube, this, you know, the ability to really optimize your videos to get it out there and allow people to find you based on those keywords is something that, again, you just simply can't do on Facebook. So the ability to optimize was really the third reason why I chose to, um, to focus more on YouTube. Uh, moving on to the fourth reason, which right now, honestly, this is just like icing on the cake for me, but it's ad revenue. Now, here's the deal. You know, if I, again, let's go to the analytics and I am just going to go over here. Let me find it. Um, let me scroll up. Let me just do overview. Let me scroll down. Let me go to revenue over here under the analytics. And you can see right here that, you know, well, this is the lifetime, which the video wasn't even uploaded until August, but you can see this video in particular by itself, I've actually earned, you know, $319 from it. Now, here's the deal. I probably could have earned way more. I did not even start optimizing my uh, YouTube channel in regards to ad revenue until the end of 2018. So this right here is actually only from like the past, um, I can't remember exactly the day that I started earning ad revenue, but I want to say it was probably November of 2018. So this $319 has been not from the lifetime of this video, because it would have gotten a lot more, but just since, you know, from November 2018 until April of 2019. So you're looking at what, like six months, um, you know, five, six months of um, ad revenue right here. And what this basically means, if you're like, what does ad revenue mean? Um, you know, think about when you watch YouTube videos. Now, you know, at the very beginning where ads pop up and you can skip the ad in like five seconds. Well, basically you can make it to where your videos, once your YouTube channel meets certain criteria, there are certain criteria that you have to meet before they will allow you to actually monetize your channel and earn ad revenue. But basically I can allow 
you know, YouTube to put ads in my video. And because of that, like I can earn an income, I can earn a side income. And I will say again, I've only been doing this for about the past like six months. And overall, I think this is obviously the highest earning video that I have. I think overall in all of my content, if I just do um, not just this one, but let me just go to revenue in general. Let me just go to revenue and it will just say lifetime. I've earned about $600 in the past six months. So about $100 a month. Now, the first several months that I started monetizing, I wanna say I may have earned like $20 or $30 in a month, but over the past several months, you know, just from like February of 2019 to April, I've been able to kind of double that to where now I'm earning, you know, a hundred plus dollars a month. And I know that may not seem like a lot, but over time that can definitely add up. So it's, it's pretty, you know, pretty cool. I do have a buddy also on YouTube and I'm not saying that YouTube ads is like the way to go, but it is just some icing on the cake. But if you look at one of my buddies who has a channel and he's really been focusing on YouTube YouTube since you know 2016 now he has a lot of videos he basically is uploading like a video a day I want to say he's got around like 700 plus videos it's kind of crazy but you know even in 2018 alone he earned over $72,000 just from YouTube ad revenue that is a full-time income for a lot of people okay that is not chump change and so it just kind of I think what's pretty cool is it kind of shows you the possibilities and you know with without promoting anything or without having, you know, um, anything else to kind of promote on the platform, you know, he earns, again, a full-time income just from putting up content and allowing YouTube to put ads on his video. So that's just, again, something else to think about. It was a little extra reason. Now, I will tell you just as a side note, I have seen on Facebook here recently that that looks like something that they're going to start doing is, um, you know, giving you the ability to earn revenue if you allow ads to be put on your Facebook videos. Now, I haven't seen um, many people talking about it. It's just something I've noticed from playing around on the back end. I do think there are, again, some requirements before like your Facebook business page can start earning revenue. Um, you know, so that's something, you know, I can always talk about later on as I kind of dive in and learn a little bit more about that in regards to Facebook. But again, this was the fourth reason why I kind of chose to make the switch from Facebook over to YouTube. So a real quick recap, just to kind of say, tell you those top four reasons again. The first reason was just longevity and more exposure on my videos just overall in general. The second reason was the fact that, uh, that YouTube is actually a search engine. Facebook isn't. The third reason is the ability to really optimize my video and get more exposure through like keywords and, and tags and things like that. And then the fourth reason is, you know, just a little extra income from the ad revenue. Now I will, I, I do want to kind of point out when it comes to the ad revenue, because this is something I didn't speak about just a second ago. I am one that generally, because there's, you know, some different settings and stuff you can do when it comes to monetization. But, you know, one thing I do right now is I only allow skippable ads. And that is just simply so I don't annoy people who are watching my videos. And so I don't really post any, like, I don't really allow any non-skippable ads on my content just to not turn away my audience. But, um, you know, I kind of minimize the ads. I do put the skippable ads pretty much on every video, but it's usually just at the beginning. It's five seconds and then you can skip over it. Not a big deal. So you just wanted to kind of point that out. But with that being said, I hope you got some value from today's video. If you did, be sure to not only subscribe, but give it a thumbs up. Now, the question of the day is this. I want to know where you are putting your focus, which social media platform that you are really focusing on when it comes to building your audience, putting out your content, and why. Let me know in the comments below. But with that being said, I hope you have the most amazing day, and I'll see you back here next week for another video. Bye for now.